In this video we are going to learn about the conditional statements in JavaScript. Conditional statements are basically used to perform action based on certain condition. Let me show you an example here. So for example this is my uh, code, the HTML code, it's plain simple HTML. There is no server side code here and what I'm doing is that here I have a button called check my name and on click of the button we are calling check JavaScript function and we have a text box as well on this page now when we we'll click the button what will happen this check JavaScript function will, will fire and it basically first gets the value of the text box means whatever we will write into the text box that will will get it here and will store into the my name variable now in case we have to check for a certain condition then we will use the if statement here now if is one of the conditional statements in JavaScript so here we have used if and then under bracket so whatever condition you are going to check you will have to write it under bracket so if my name my name is nothing but the variable and that variable will have the value that will be entered into the text box so if my name is equal to equal to this is the equal to operator in JavaScript if you would have watched my earlier videos you must be knowing it and if my name is equal to equal to su means if I will enter su in uh, the text box then I have to give alert saying yes if I will not enter su then it will naturally give alert as no now let me comment the remaining code here okay so in this function we have only this much of code so if I will enter su into the text box then I will get alert yes otherwise no so let me go ahead and execute this so I am running this page into the browser and uh, here is my text box now let me first enter Narayan when I enter Narayan and clicking my name check my name nothing is happening but as soon as I will enter CU the correct value that I am going to check in on the page you can see that I am getting uh, alert saying yes so this is the conditional statement called if now in case you want to check uh, for the else condition means if I have not entered anything then what to do or if I have not entered the correct value then what to do then we will have to write else block so first here we are checking if my name is equal to su then show me alert as yes and else means if it is not su then give me alert no or whatever so instead of alert one sentence I can write many line of code javascript code here ok so it is not mandatory to write just one line of code inside the if block now what will happen here now let me refresh this page again and now this time I will not enter C. I I will write Narayan then what is going to happen here it is going to come to the else block and whatever code will be written into the else block that will execute so here alert no is written so that is executing here so here the first case was only if the second case so in the second just now I shown that how to work with if and else means if the condition is met then do something if it is not meant then again do something else now let me show you another example where now we are going to look at if else if and then else similarly you can put many else if as well so here we are checking if my name is su then give me alert as yes if it is not then we, it will come to the else block then again it will say if my name is su narayan then say also say yes but if it is neither su nor su narayan then just give me no as alert so here we are checking if else if again the conditional statement and else this so if I will enter su then it will give me alert as yes if I will enter su narayan then also it will give me yes if I if neither I will enter su nor I will enter su narayan then it will give me no so this is 
multiple conditional statement where we are writing if and then else if and then else similarly as i said earlier you can you can put many else if conditions here like this also or like this also so you can have as many number of condition else if as we want but ideally it is suggested not to go above one because if you are going more than one then you should ideally use the switch case that we are going to cover later on so now let me run this page now first i am entering sue which is giving me yes then i am entering sue and narayan it is also giving me yes because it is coming to the second if block and if i will i am entering just narayan you can see that it is coming no because it is coming into the last else block now in the next how to we are going to learn about the switch statement as i just now told that if you have multiple if bo uh, blocks or if you have a scenario where you are checking multiple if condition then you should avoid that and try to using the switch so this is basically used to avoid the complexity of writing the if statements <coughs> and uh, this is considered to be much faster than if so let me uh, show the example the demonstration of the switch case here yes so here what we are doing <coughs> here again i have almost similar form where we have a button sorry we have a text box and we have a button on click of the button we are calling the check javascript function and this javascript function we are first retrieving the value of the text box and storing it into the my name variable and then this is the syntax of switch where we write the switch that is the reserved keyword and then under bracket the value that we are going to check so here we are going to check the value of my name variable means whatever data will be entered into the text box and then we are checking it is a case okay so it, you can say that switch my name case su means capital s h u then give me alert yes and then you have to write the break statement so so after every case you should have a break statement then only you are uh, supposed to start the another case statement so and, and if case is a small s h u then also give yes if it is if neither it is capital s h u nor it is a small s h u then by default go to the default case and give me alert as no and again we have to keep the brag so let me re uh, rephrase first will be the switch word then it will be under bracket the value that you are going to check and then case and the exact value for that particular case and then break a statement now here you can write as many number of uh, javascript codes as we want okay so it need not to, to be only one line you can write as many number of javascript code as you want and uh, if uh, you wanted to uh, specify any default case it means that if the value will not come into any of the case statement then it will go to to the default case and whatever code you will write into the default you is you, that will basically execute so let me run this page okay now here i am writing capital s h u it is giving me alert as yes as you can see the first case statement is firing and if it is a small s h u then it is also giving me yes the second case statement is, is firing but if i am writing capital o here then it is going to the default case because it is not coming into the first case neither second case but so the default is executing and here i am getting the alert as no so this was the switch case statement in javascript now let me rephrase in javascript we have two conditional statement first is the if and the second is the switch so if is used if we have to check uh, not more than two to three uh, conditions like if this then do this else if this then do this else if this then do this else but if you have multiple if conditions it is suggested to not use the if like you should not have 100 if conditions but you should just go with the switch case and you can write the switch case statements <coughs>